Some big gamblers are getting ready for the playoffs. Oh, this one. <laughs> They've, there are 10 cameras in this studio. They've already captured the Anderson Cup for having the best record in the regular season. Now they're in search of the Clark Cup. And head coach John Cooper joins me now to talk about the upcoming postseason. Coach, thank you very much for joining us well, and, and bringing the, the cup with you. Um, I definitely didn't bring it by myself. No, you said it was 85 pounds, it's, huh? Yeah, it's really heavy. <laughs> A little deceiving looking, but when you see highlights, it takes a few guys to lift it. It's yeah, great. well, we'll see highlights. And you said that uh, one guy almost one guy almost dropped it or what? <laughs> Actually, it's funny you say that. In junior hockey in a, in a Canadian league, a uh, guy dropped it, and it was it was kind of embarrassing. But, no, <laughs> you'll see here, it's uh, it's just an intimidating trophy in, in you know, 30 years of junior hockey. It's, uh, it's great, though. It really is great. I mean, um, here we go. Uh, a year where you have another successful, fantastic regular season, but then you have to gear up again for the playoffs. I mean, how tough is it to get ready for this second season? Well, I'll tell you, it's this year's. A, there's a lot different focus than last year. I think uh, it was it was new to a lot of guys last year. We kind of did that worst to first thing, and and so it was kind of uh, you know the fact that we lost out. I think was it, people didn't expect us to be there in the first place. But for us to come back this year. And, uh, I mean, the guys last year set the bar so high. I don't think these guys, a lot of people thought they could, they could achieve the goals they did this year. But, you know, not only they match it, they exceeded it. And, and I think there's a lot more focus this year on, uh, okay, now that we've got the Anderson Cup, uh, we really want to get it, go after that Clark Cup. How do you describe this team? I mean, is it a, is it a group of, of uh, fighters? Is it... Uh... <laughs> I don't mean that. Uh, tech, you Are know. you talking about the goalies? Or, yeah. <laughs> well, yeah, we've seen some of that video. But, uh, no, I mean, just uh, as a whole. I'll, I'll tell you, every time, I don't want this to sound like a cliche or anything, but every time there was something put at it, you look at our first 15 games, and we were almost in last place. And every time we said we put some sort of goal in front of this team, they found a way to match it. And, and you look at... They set a franchise record for wins. Um, last year we had a 12-game win streak. This year they had a 15-game win streak. Uh, and it just, the list goes on and on and on. And only the second team um, to, to win back-to-back -back Anderson Cup. So they've really found a way. Uh, but like we, we alluded to earlier, their focus, even though it's a regular season 60 games and it's a grind, to win those nine games in the playoffs, uh, to get, you know, to knock out three teams, mm -hmm. it's just a... The emotional roller coaster is immense, and, and I think this team has kind of got that that we're never out of it type mm -hmm. attitude, and, uh, and uh, I like the way we're feeling going into the playoffs. Did we get a shot of the cup over here yet? There it is. One of your ten cameras. Yeah, really. So um, are, how does this work? Are the names of the players the on names, it, then, uh, actually? Yeah, every player that's ever won the trophy is on that cup, and... Uh, Actually, it'll be interesting to see what they do because there's there's our spot oh, for this yeah. year's gonna team. Have to add another. <laughs> and then, I'm not sure what they're going to do after that. Yeah, it's, it's uh, a lot of history on that trophy. <clears throat> it really is. And um, one last question: that is, Coach, I know that a lot of folks are behind the gamblers. They go to the gamblers' games. You've got a very good following, but I would assume you wouldn't mind, uh, you know, maybe a couple more thousand there. <laughs> yeah, no. I mean, I mean really, no it's it's. Uh, it's great quality hockey, and maybe some folks that are watching don't realize that. So you, you want that place filled if possible, right? Oh, there's no question. And, and uh, you know, the first game starts tomorrow night, uh, and then we play again Friday. But just to watch the fans, I, I know before I was here, and I, I guess there was, I know the fans weren't, the, well, the crowds weren't as big, but for us to sit here, our last three home games have gone 7, 45, 100, and 5,000. Mm. So... Uh, the fans are back, and, and it's uh, just just to hear the crowd and, and that was there for the presentation on Saturday it was it was just it was really emotional for myself and a lot of the guys, and and uh, I, I mean hockey's back at the rush, and, and I hope uh, you know everybody shows up to watch us go. And and coach, you want to say hi to your girls? They watch this one. Yeah, the girls. Uh, I don't know if they'll be. Are they watching SpongeBob. What are they watching? Yeah, I don't know. Hopefully, yeah. they, they could be breakfast time right now. <laughs> <laughs> but. Uh, no, the girls are big hockey fans. It's great too because uh, I've got uh, finally I bring a puck in and they'll go aki, aki. <laughs> so and the, and the logo, the logo gives them a little aki. So Excellent. it's pretty good. Coach, good luck. Thanks for dropping Thanks in. Thanks for so much for having me. And congratulations, Rachel.